Thomas and the Dragon. I was working on the Chinese railway with my friend Yong Bao, just in time for the spring festival. Wow, look at all the flowers on the trees. That's right, Thomas. It's peach blossom time. You're so lucky to be here in China for the new year. But I thought New Year was a winter festival when the trees are all bare. <laughs> Not in China. <laughs> Go! Wait for me, young bow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are they carrying? Those are lanterns for the New Year celebrations. We have a big party. I love New Year. And do you know what the best part is? It's the dragon! Young Bao, did you say what I think you said? What is the best part of the new year? Oh, the best part of all is... I still didn't hear you. What did you say? <laughs> Thomas the Dragon! <laughs> Sorry, I, I still didn't hear the you. The Dragon, Thomas. I said the Dragon. Dragon? <laughs> That's right, Thomas. Usually, I take the dragon to the big square. But as you're a guest on our railway, I think you should have the honor. Huh? Me? Take the dragon? But, but, uh, don't dragons breathe out smoke and uh, fire? None of us could see where we were going. <gasps> Watch out, Thomas! See the red signal. Well, you should have been looking where you were going. You look out! Oh. Sorry. <laughs> now, because the fog is so bad and we don't want any accidents, I've asked Cyril the Fogman to come and help us out. This is a detonator. We will be placing these on the tracks to warn you that you are coming up to a signal. So when you hear a bang, slow down and look out. Ooh! Because there's a signal ahead. Uh, thank you, Cyril. <laughs> now, off you go and be careful out there. Don't panic. It's only the fog detonators. They're warning us that we're coming to some signals. Samson and Bradford were on their way to the quarry, but nobody had warned them about the detonators. I'm sure this isn't the way to the Blue Mountain Quarry. You must have taken the wrong turn in the fog. And then there was trouble. <laughs> What was that? Ah, fireworks! Fireworks! No, Samsa, those aren't fireworks. They're fog detonators! Ah! Samson, stop screaming! They're not fireworks! Dr. Grip! And he's not listening. Sorry, Bradford. Don't know where we are now. I didn't mean to get lost, but, well, I really do not like fireworks. They weren't fireworks. I've been trying to tell you. Those bangs were fog detonators to warn you about signals in the fog. Oh. Or, indeed. 
Did you ask him, Henry? Uh, what did he say? He said yes. He thinks it's a good idea. Enough of this chitter chattering. Aren't one of you little engines supposed to bring me my coaches? <laughs> Oh, you don't usually bring me my coaches. Gordon, don't be so rude. Nia is a very welcome addition to our railway. Apologize right now. Sorry, Nia. But please, sir, why can't Edward come back? Edward is supposed to sleep in Titmouth's sheds. Oh, honestly, Gordon, how many times do I need to go over this? Edward sleeps in the sheds at Wellsworth now. It's right at the start of his branch line. And the fat controller says I can stay in the sheds in Vickerstown from now on. What? 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 <laughs> when did this happen? Nobody told me. You, you can't move Henry as well, sir. Why don't you just, just go ahead and change everything? Shall I push my coaches from now on instead of pulling them, sir? Gordon! Come on, Annie Clarabel! Let me take you on Thomas's branch line for a change. The fat controller is changing everything. No, Gordon! What are you doing? You can take the express, Nia. I'm going to shunt trucks in the yard. The fat controller wants to change everything. Gordon, I've had quite enough of this nonsense. Hurry up, Paxton. I'm going to fill up with diesel for a change. Really? I thought steam engines filled up with steam. First, Edward leaves Titmouth sheds, and now Henry's moving out too. Oh, maybe now Edward can come back. But, Gordon? What about your diesel fuel? Well, Edward, what do you think? Thanks for asking, Gordon, again. But I'm very happy at Wellsworth. Uh, Uh-oh! You better hurry back to Nutford and collect your coaches, Gordon. The fat controller says you're causing confusion, confusion and, and delay. delay. Wow, Philip. How do you make your voice do that? You are usually one of my most sensible engines, Gordon. But today you're being very silly indeed. If you're not going to pull the express, then you can go back to your shed. Fine, sir. I will. Even though Nia had joined us at Tidmouth Sheds, there was room for Rebecca there too. Morning, Rebecca. Hello, Emily. Wow, everyone's up and ready to go so early. That's because we're really useful, especially me. I'm a really useful engine. So am I. I'm off. Coming! Gordon is off to pull the express. He's really strong. The fastest engine on Sodo. And I'm the fastest red engine. <laughs> hey! Excuse me, Jay. Did you know Emily competed in the best decorated engine parade at the Great Railway Show? So did I. Oh, come on. And Percy's just coming back from pulling the mail train. Wow. These sound like the best engines ever. <laughs> if I want to fit in here. <laughs> oh. Rebecca was so fast that she got to Vickerstown early. And that meant she was in the way. Who's that on my platform? Excuse me. Oopsies. <laughs> 
I'll be answering your way in just a minute. What are you doing on my platform? And where are my passengers? Oh, no! I think I picked up your passengers by mistake. What? Who is that? Rebecca? How did you get here before me? Oh, I thought you were the one behind me, little brother. Why can't you call me Gordon? Because I'm your big brother, which makes you my little brother. Little brother. Oh, you think you're so cool, don't you? Whoopsie! Off I go again! I don't want to be late on my first day. All the other engines are so fast and strong and compete in competitions. I hope I won't be known as a slow coach. I know! I'll leave straight away so I won't be late. Hey, wait! You're far too early! Where do you think you're going? I haven't got on yet! That was the train I was meant to get on! Yuck! Ugh. You're a silly lot of engines. K-I-S-S. Oh, kissing! I get it! I just wanted to say thanks for sticking up for me down at the docks. <laughs> Did I stick up for you? I don't think so. Th that's not what happened. What? But I... Look at Rosie, everyone. <laughs> she thinks something happened when it didn't. <laughs> Silly Rosie. <laughs> Thomas? That's not very nice. Thomas! <gasps> I need you to go to Ulstead Castle and collect some very important passengers. You're to take them to Vickerstown, where you'll meet Rosie. What? Rosie? No, I don't want to... ...disappoint you, sir. That's not a problem. <laughs> Rosie! <gasps> it's very important that you take those trucks to Vickerstown, where you'll meet Thomas. Thomas? No! I mean, I'll get right on it, sir. Mother! Yes, dear? Oh, uh, can I drop you off? I need to finish planning my Valentine's Day surprise. <laughs> of course, dear. Come on, come on! What's the hurry, Rosie? I don't want to bump into Thomas. He was so rude to me this morning. Thomas was rude to you? That is odd. I thought he really liked you. <gasps> hey, wait! Hello, slow little tank engine. You'll be pleased to know Rose is coming along right behind me. <laughs> Rosie? Thomas, what are you doing? The fat controller is waiting for us in Vickerstown. I don't want to see Rosie. What's gotten into you, Thomas? First you were rude to Rosie and now you're avoiding her. Oh, Thomas, were you rude to Rosie? What's going on with you two? Oh, nothing is going on. But some of the other engines think there is. You ought not to worry about what other engines think. I know that, but I don't want Rosie to get the wrong idea. If there's a misunderstanding, you two should talk it out. <sighs> oh, dear. Oh, um... Ah, Rosie! Could you please turn around and come in the other side? Now, where is Thomas? Ah, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> now I just need... Thomas! Ah, oh, my good lady hat! Oh, wow! They love me! <laughs> I 
to smile, Thomas. And if you can't, then just pretend to be happy. It's called acting. It's what we star do all the time. <laughs> It was hard work pretending to be happy. Wow, that looks just like the real Taj Mahal. Pretty special, isn't it? This is a movie set, Thomas. It's where dreams come true. <sighs> I just wish I was in one. In a world full of confusion and delay, only one engine can save a day. Thomas the Tank Engine, you're a hero. I'm just being really useful, Mom. Thomas the Tank Engine is Big Hero One, coming to a cinema near you. <sighs> Cheer up, Thomas. I guess we can't all be action heroes. Oh, have they taken you off the movie now, Rajiv? No, of course not. Then why are you delivering trucks? I'm not really delivering trucks. I, I'm acting. It's movie dog. You wouldn't understand. Ah, Thomas, I've got another job for you. So, I wasn't in the movie, but I did enjoy helping on set. It was fun, and it felt good to be busy. Unlike someone I knew. Rajiv, have you filmed your scene yet? No, still waiting. Thomas, I need more flowers. Sorry, Rajiv, got a dash. I've got lots of really useful jobs to do. But when I returned with the flowers, everyone was gone. Hey, Rajiv! Sodor was busy, but that must be the busiest station I have ever seen. Oh, yes. The Indian Railway is the busiest and biggest in the world. Some say it's the king of all railways. I know what you're thinking. You do? You're thinking, whoa, check out the crown. I was? <laughs> Maybe you should introduce yourself first, Rajiv. <laughs> ah, yes. Silly me. I'm Rajiv, the royal engine. The pleasure is all... Yours. Norja. Just because you have a crown doesn't mean you're royal. Our railway is also the most glamorous. And the most hardworking. <laughs> You'll soon get used to working here, Thomas. It's not so different to the railway on Sodor, you know? <laughs> We don't have those in the shunting yards on Sodor. <laughs> oh, elephants used to be everywhere and can still be seen in some places in India. There was a time when elephants used to work in the shunting yards. They used to help shunt the trucks when the engines were busy. Elephants can't shunt trucks. <laughs> yes, they can. Some elephants are stronger than engines, Thomas. <laughs> Was that an elephant? No, just me bringing you your trucks. On my way to deliver my trucks, I saw many more new things. Amazing palaces and monuments. Very high bridges. And even animals traveling on top of trains. <laughs> A 
Fukushima. Why have you stopped? I'm waiting for her to wake up. Why don't you blow your whistle to make her move? That's what the fat controller would tell us to do. <laughs> but Thomas, cows are very special to many people in India. And if a cow wants to sleep, well, we let it sleep. Oh, okay, Ishima. I'll let her sleep too. See you later. I couldn't believe it. Yes, I did it! I saved the day! I know you were trying to help, Thomas, but that wasn't the right way to stop the truck. But I really did stop the truck. I saved the day. Yes, but you also flipped Lay right off the tracks. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm completely fine. I was getting ready to stop Lay in a different way. A better way. What do you mean, a better way? Have you seen the people in the square doing Tai Chi? Exercising and moving slowly together. That's how I was going to stop Lei. I don't know anything about Tai Chi. I'll show you in the morning. Now, I have to go and fetch a crane. I'm sorry, Lei. I was sure I was doing the right thing. I thought I was being a hero. And I'm sorry I got you into trouble. You're still a hero to me, Thomas. Oops. <laughs> oh, dear. The next day, Yongbao took me to see the people in the square. They're doing their morning exercise. It's called Tai Chi. Wow. I've never seen anything like that before. This is how I would have stopped the runaway truck. With Tai Chi? What do you mean? Do you see the way they are all moving together, Thomas? Rather than crashing into Lei, you could have backed up with him. Then both of you could have slowed down gently, moving together. Moving together, like Tai Chi. I'll show you. Follow me. It, move together. Move with the truck. Hey. Okay, Thomas, now you try. Move together, like Tai Chi. It's right here, on the side of my tank. That's a number one. That's how we write the number one in China. Only we don't call it a one. We call it E. My name is Hong Mei, by the way. Oh, my name's Thomas. I'll race you to the next station. Hey, come back here. <laughs> Hong Mei was fun. She liked racing. And racing was something I knew all about. I'm number one! I'm number one! <laughs> Give up, slow coach! Oh, no! Oh! No! to stop for a silly red signal. Here in China, red is the color for good luck. But it wasn't very lucky for you just now. <laughs> no, it wasn't. But I bet I can beat you if we race again. OK, Thomas, you're on. Three. Two. One. Kaishi. Huh? Ka 
I see means stop, Thomas. Oh! That's what my water cannons are for. They are incredible! You are incredible, Belle. <laughs> and so is your Belle. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Oh, I say, what a big hole. I wonder how it got there. <gasps> a steam shovel! Now that is amazing! It is amazing! Digging, but I also use it to play everyone's favorite game. Guess what's in my shovel? Oh, I love games. How do you play? Well, you just have to guess what's in my shovel. Oh, uh, okay. I bet it's something really fantastic. <laughs> um, is it dirt? <gasps> <laughs> what a silly game! <laughs> but I love it! <laughs> we should play it again sometime! Well, I like her. She's fun! This is your fault! You didn't warn me! I didn't warn you! Well, I didn't hear you! Oh, Hi, Rebecca. Rebecca! Hello, you two! Oh, dear! How is this mess ever going to get cleared up? Oh, what? An engine with a crane? <gasps> How cool is that? <laughs> well, I guess it is kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know it is. <laughs> cool. I'm cool. Hey! Who threw that? That's Harvey's fault. fault. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, I wish I had all those incredible things that the other engines have. Then I'd be the coolest, most useful engine ever! about me. Nothing at all. Oh, Doc! Victor and Kevin did a great job fixing up your funnel. Those guys at the Steamworks can do anything. Hmm. The Steamworks. So maybe you can fix me up with a crane or something, and maybe a steam shovel, and a bell, and a water cannon. Mm. 